Hi guys, Demo here, and today I'm going to show you how to get the most points in the new minigame in Adoption Island. This is super duper exciting. I've done really well so far with this minigame, and I thought I could probably help you guys out if you need the help. Uh, I haven't gotten very far in the past right now because I've only played a few games, but the games I have played have gone really, really well. So before I do this, I'll type in, I think it's token. Yep, I have three sunshine tokens, so I'll do what I can to showcase how to get the most points. You don't really need other people in this. You can invite them anyway just to have other people with you, but a lot of people won't actually accept your invite request because they're using it as a trading area, which is, you know, you got to do what you got to do to get them trades in, I understand. I was a little bit miffed about it yesterday, but uh luckily i am okay with it now okay so first off you gotta be very very careful with this i've played games like dvd where i have to go for the proper skills tricks and stuff so i'm kind of used to it oh gosh still nerve-wracking though <laughs> it is still incredibly nerve-wracking i believe you get 50 points every go so and you get two goes of this so you just wait in this area and mr rock will come and tell you to play again so let's Try this again. Again, you've got to be very, very careful to just... Oh, darn it. I missed. Ah! I have to play this minigame so many times to showcase to you guys. I've just been... Ah! Crazy. Usually, I get 100 points every single minigame, and it's pretty good. It is pretty good. Uh, I'm going to play this game a few times to kind of get the gist of it. This is my first game on today. I can't be judged too harshly, okay? And with this one, you can actually use the shadow to pinpoint where exactly you are, because the shadow underneath you will show exactly where you are in the circle. So if you can, if you're on PC, look straight down as you're jumping. Look straight down and then you can kind of angle it to use the shadow as much as you need to to be able to hit the red. See, there we go. I've gotten, I think, what is that? 100 from the trampoline, which is amazing. And with this one, I kind of look backwards at it and just use it like this. This is how I do it because it's easier to, if you go straight here in the middle, you can actually just watch backwards. You don't have to need to see where the octopus is or... Yeah, the octopus. You don't actually need to watch where that is. You kind of just need to pinpoint exactly where the uh, thingies are going to be, which you actually don't need to look at him to be able to do that. You just got to look backwards onto what you're doing here. And it's a lot easier doing it this way and being directly in the center. You don't, again, have to look at him at all. It's so much easier just to do it backwards like this. And I'll showcase how much XP I got. I didn't get the full amount just because I didn't uh, get the rock throws in time like I needed to. But I got 294 out of 300, which is an amazing amazing score i'll do another game to hopefully get the top amount of points because this is 294 xp 94 on the rock pro 100 on the trampoline tricks and 100 on the octo tennis and it gave me three no it gave me yeah 190 294 so i'm almost at my first other pet that isn't the other one which is super super exciting let's try this again oh there we go perfect Let's try this again, because I am so far behind because I didn't play a lot yesterday, so I'm trying to catch up as much as I can. Again, inviting other players doesn't give you more XP. It's really just to give people free plays of the mini game, which is why I'm doing it. I just feel nice letting other people join in on the mini. I'm so messing up. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I like giving others the opportunity to play the mini game if they don't have tokens. I know a lot of people kind of charged other people to play the pony mini game last event. They would be like, "Hey, if you give me a pet, I'll I'll invite you to the pony mini game." I didn't like that, so I a lot of the time would just invite anyone who, who uh, wasn't asking for free pets to or free for pets to play the mini game, you know, in the server. And that's kind of what I do now. Luckily, people don't really do that now. At least from what I've seen. I guess they don't like this event as much. I think this event is great. So I, am, I don't understand why people dislike it as much as they do. Um, I personally really, really like it. I guess they just don't like the pets or whatever. I think the pets are okay. I'm not 100% on the cheetah pet. I haven't got one yet. Just because, I, again, I have not played a lot. Um, so I don't really have an inkling of if I like it enough. If I haven't got it yet. Um, the pets do look okay. They're not the most unique ones, but I wouldn't have imagined that they would have been because they had the ponies last time, which I really, really liked. The majestic pony was super unique with a nice, uh, effect and everything. And, you know, the betas were really nice looking. Uh, the corn doggo and the balloon uni were super duper unique. So I'm, I'm not surprised that they're more toned down this event. You know, they're more based on real life animals. They're more so, uh, a lot tamer and blander compared to the previous ones which again i understand coming up with new ideas every single event can be an absolute struggle for designers and it's completely understandable that some pets just aren't as unique as others and that's completely okay you know that's completely okay 
Okay. Plonk. It should be. There we go. That's the last one. Two nine this time. I did worse than last time. In my defense, it is six a.m. It is six a.m. and this is the first game on. But I've almost after one more mini game, I should be able to get the new fish. Let's invite a bunch of random people. Declined your invite. Declined your invite. Someone. Oh no. Someone joined my lobby. Yeah. All I get is declined your invite. Declined your invite. Buddy. Stop being bullies for five seconds. <laughs> okay, let's try and get a hundred. It's it's the rock throw. The rock throw is always throwing me off. Because I used to play Dead by Daylight, which is a game where you have to hit skill checks. I used to play that on my uh, controller and there was always an input delay. But I don't think there's an input delay on mouse. But I'm so used to it having an input delay that I keep predicting beforehand. Like stopping clicking beforehand. Um, so hopefully consistently hit the great area but i still i have no idea you know like you can see me hitting see just before i keep hitting just before but i promise i have had great great consistency okay i'll put a screenshot on the video to showcase that i have done bad actor <laughs> but no this is the easiest ways to oh she's playing the rock throw in the trampoline area you know she's just doing her best and yeah, again, perfect way to do this. Just look straight down, use the shadow to your advantage. A lot of people were complaining about the shadow when it first came out. But honestly, the shadow is very, very useful because it helps you a ton put, like showcase where exactly you need to be standing. And if you're exactly in the red circle, you know, that's why the, the shadow is absolutely perfect. Follow the shadow, make sure that you're doing what you need to do. But at least this time I should have done better than all the previous times because I think it was 294, 298. Oh gosh, just did it. Yeah. But yeah, always look backwards on this one. Do it like this, okay? Do it like this. I know you want to watch the octopus. I know, he's a cute little fella. But if you want to get the max amount of points, this is the smartest way to do it. Bonk. I can just hear that. Bonk. On the other side. Bonk. <laughs> I'm so easily entertained by Adopt Me. I can't help it. I seriously cannot help it at all, you know? Bonk. Bonk. Lovely jubbly seat. 297. This is the best I've done today. I'll be consistently playing it all day though so that I can make sure to get every single pet and so I can start on my road to making the neons because I've only got the neon elephant at the moment. But now I officially, officially, <laughs> get it? <laughs> oh gosh, I'm so easily entertained. I officially have the first pet I need, which is exciting. Um, and then, yeah, I'm at level 10. At level 16, I get another one. At level 21, I get another one. And then at 25, I get the last one I need. And then it still comes with a couple extra in the event. So you can make, I think, two neon blue... Was it blue marlins? No, black mine. I swear blue mine's the other one. Hold up, blue. I swear there is another one. What am I thinking about? I'm thinking about the swordfish. They look so similar. Anyway, <laughs> that's it for this video. I hope my tips have helped you immensely. Let me know in the comment section below what your favorite pet of this event is. And I'll see you next time. Bye.